ایٹین ہنڈریڈ آرٹس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی اسما حفیظ فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس پرائم منسٹر از امبارکنگ آن اے تھری ڈے افیشیل وزٹ ٹو سعودی ریبیا فارم ٹوڈے ٹو ہولڈ ٹاکس وتھ سعودی لیڈرشپ آن آل ایریاز آف پائلٹل کوپوریشن اینڈ انٹرنیشنل ایشوز Saudi Crown Prince says relations between Saudi Arabia and Pakistan are based on bonds of brotherhood and mutual trust. Information Minister says the government is ready to hold talks with opposition parties for electoral reforms. Jumatul Wada is being observed today with religious solemnity across the country. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan is embarking on a three-day official visit to Saudi Arabia today. He is visiting the kingdom on the invitation of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz. The Prime Minister will be accompanied by high-level delegation including the Foreign Minister and other members of the Cabinet. During the visit, the Prime Minister's consultations with the Saudi leadership will cover all areas of bilateral cooperation including economic, trade, investment, energy, job opportunities for Pakistani workforce and welfare of Pakistan. Sunny diaspora in the kingdom. Minister of Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain has said Prime Minister Imran Khan during his visit to Saudi Arabia will hold talks with the Saudi leadership on a range of matters including economic and media partnership and Supreme Coordination Council. Talking to Saudi TV channel Al Akhbariya, he said both the countries enjoy long-standing and historic defense relations. He said Prime Minister Imran Khan has good personal relations with the Saudi leadership. The Information Minister said Pakistan acknowledges the services of Saudi leadership for the Islamic world. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud has said relations between Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Pakistan are based on bonds of brotherhood and mutual trust. He was talking to Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa who called on him in Jeddah today. The Saudi Crown Prince said both the nations will continue to play their part of for peace, stability and betterment of Muslim Ummah. The Saudi Crown Prince acknowledged Pakistan's role towards regional peace and stability. The army chief said Pakistan is resolute in its commitment to safeguard the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Saudi Arabia and defense of the two holy mosques. Minister of Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain has said the government is ready to hold talks with the opposition parties for the electoral reforms. Addressing a news conference along with advisor on commerce Razak Daud in Islamabad today, he said the opposition parties will have to demonstrate seriousness whilst rising above political point scoring in order to remove loopholes from the electoral system. Chaudhry Fawad Hussain said the promises made by the PTI are being fulfilled. He was confident that this year will see construction of housing units on a large scale. The information minister said the federal cabinet has approved Journalists Protection Act and a body will also be formed to address the complaints of the journalists. He said payments of 400 million rupees have been released to the media organizations so that they could timely disperse salaries to the media workers. In his remarks, advisor on commerce Razak Daud said Amazon will be opening sellers registration of Pakistan companies very soon. He said it is a big opportunity for our companies including the SMEs to use the platform of Amazon to connect with the global market and export their products. Jumat ul-Wida, the last Friday of the holy month of Ramadan, is being observed today with religious solemnity across the country. The Juma congregations are being held as per the standard operating procedures in view of the threat posed by the third wave of COVID-19. Imams and khatibs in the sermons are highlighting the significance of the day. On the occasion, prayers will be offered for the progress and prosperity of the country and to rid the world of the pandemic. Jumat ul-Wida has a special significance since it is a prelude to the departure of holy month of Ramadan. Meanwhile, International Day of Al-Quds is also being observed today to express solidarity with the oppressed people of Palestine. The United States has deployed extra military resources to protect Americans and coalition forces withdrawing from Afghanistan. In India, another 3,915 people died of COVID-19 in a single day, taking the death toll in the country to over 2,34,000 in our cricket. 
In the second and final cricket test of the two match series against Zimbabwe at Harare, Pakistan in the first innings were 12 for 1 a short while ago. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.